Yeah, special feed. Yeah, right. Of course you aren't cheating in any way. Oh yeah, I could check uh <coughs> check out the journal to see which people hold the different events. Yeah, I think we'll do the brawl last. Let's see, only villagers and children there. Yeah. And here are the village a-holes, apparently. I wish Bevel was more like Ward. Never talk. <laughs> No, I don't plan to win the brawl. I will win the brawl. Yeah, probably because his brothers would beat him up if he didn't tag along. <laughs> Why, what's this here? A wood pile. Uh oh. Okay. No, somebody around here has a really good sense of humor. Yeah, what a surprise. It's part of a challenge. Yeah, no one asked you, Bevel. Shocking. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Oh, here's the old farmer. Who doesn't have anything to say, apparently. Yeah, you better. You never know what the dumb, boring villagers will turn into once the sun goes down. They become the children of the night. Suck your blood. Yeah, let's uh, do the trading. Yeah, just take the furs. Really? Yeah, I know how to trade, well, how to sell and buy. And here's the Duskwood Bow. Hmm, I wouldn't mind keeping that, actually. Yeah, um... Let's give the bow to our daddy. So, you've decided to compete for the cup, I see. No, not yet. I know this is your last year, but the rules apply to all, even foster sons. I am so getting annoyed with these people. I already know it's my last year, but would someone please tell me why? A fine ah. A fine one. Is it a fine one? one who loves his craft. You may keep the rest of the gold as your allowance for the season. Oh, thanks. But you came for the archery competition as well, did you not? Yeah, why not? Fetch a crossbow from the barrel and take a few shots at the practice target. You must hit the target once before you can compete. Fine, fine, fine. And here we have a light crossbow and some bolts. Yeah. Um Combat in uh, basic level is pretty simple, actually. Um, when a character attacks another character, um, the attacking character does an attack roll, which is um, 
basically compared to the target's armor class and if the attack roll is equal to or greater than the target's uh, armor class the attack will hit and if it's lower than the target's armor class the attack will be a miss basically it's as simple as that and um, on an attack that hits uh, the, the attacking character then does a damage roll uh, you can see here with the light crossbow the base damage is uh, a random number between 1 and 8 basically so um, yeah let's <laughs> let's just get this over with I will shoot through our daddy now oh, come on at least try to hit the bloody target thank you are you ready to compete then? No, I'm here just for fun. Let's have a staring contest. The rules are the same as last year. Ten shots and ten targets. Your targets will be old bottles. Set atop the crates yonder. Five is the best score so far. If you remember the lessons that have been taught to you, you should be able to best that. Of course I will. Oh, come on. Stop getting stuck. <laughs> and I this is not. without a doubt the most boring part of ah. the most boring tutorial ever. <laughs> I I really don't see the point in this in having to spend ten rounds in battle basically here. <laughs> well, in a in combat against um, bottles. In other words, uh, this will last for one minute. You have to take ten shots and uh, six, six seconds per shot. So, and when you keep clicking um, anywhere else but the targets, <laughs> it only takes well longer. Done. A perfect score wins the competition outright. I've rarely seen such a fine performance so early in the day. You have a marksman's instinct. That much is plain. Go on now, there's still more of the fair to see. Yeah, unfortunately so. Uh, oops, uh, actually I think we'll do the Knaves challenge next. And here we have a kid named Kip. Almost as imaginative as... Um, our main character's name. <laughs> yes, you have. I know it was you. You did it. Admit it. Uh, actually, let's go see if we can chat with the minstrels. Probably not, though. Okay, uh, don't give up on your day job just yet. <laughs> Unless, of course, that is your day job. Then please do. Okay. Enjoying the fair. Packs of feral children set loose to find trinkets. Grown men braining one another with clubs. Do you know they're actually granting prizes for the fattest pig? As if the creatures needed encouragement. Don't you go around insulting pigs. Or I'll cut your face. Who's grumbling? They've given me charge of the knave's challenge. I always tell them we ought to encourage thievery in our children. Good for the mind. We live in a swamp after all. What else is there to do? Plenty. Come to think of it, I don't believe any of you has the skills to compete. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but you'll need to find someone who can pick pockets and break locks and search for hidden trinkets if you want to compete. Lock breakers? Pocket pickers? I don't know anyone like that. Do you? How about the <coughs> kid right next to us called Kip? Obvious much. What about Kip? He's always nicking vials from Tarmus and he's right over there behind the tent. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Of 
Well, uh, how else would you be able to help me? What big lamax? Oh, devil! <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm beginning to like this kid. Indeed. Yeah, and if you do that, you're going to have a broken face. Isn't that the boy who stole my basilisk eyelash? Could and be. Not once, but four times. That's right. My frog needed eyelashes. Then I got him a sweetheart, and she needed him too. Don't trouble yourself on my account. I'll settle with the young artiste and his frogs later. Before you begin, I suppose you'll want to hear the rhyme. Um, no, not really. All the more unfortunate for me, then. It's always better to have a willing audience, especially when one's material is particularly dreadful. But Georg asked for a rhyme. That's what wizards do, after all. We compose rhymes. Here, I'll demonstrate. <clears throat> I've hidden three feathers, scattered them wide, placed white in a box, and locked it inside. Blue followed termite tracks down where they ran, green in the pocket of same colored man. <sighs> okay, wasn't that intelligent? I wonder, whatever did you mean by that? Yes, you and half the waifs in West Harbor. I adore children, did you know that? Swamp children, particularly. Um, good for you, I guess. Yeah. Of course, it uh, would have been nice if it were an actual riddle, at least. Why not just give me the feathers, if it's uh, that obvious? Uh, nothing really special here. Here's the rogue's um, sneak attack ability, backstabbing ability, basically. <laughs> they do extra damage when backstabbing or um, surprising an enemy. But, uh, yeah. And the AI off again. Yes. Let's go get the bloody feathers. <laughs> uh, oh, really? Well, you'd better. That's what you're here for. I kind of um, hope that I would be working for FedEx at this point. At least I'd get paid for this. Yes. Yeah, not really a challenge, in my opinion. Green in the pocket of same colored man. I'll bet that's him over by the house. The feather's in his pocket. It's got to be. You don't say. Thanks, I would have never thought of that myself. <laughs> it's um, nice to have an extremely intelligent person in the party, so... We won't get stuck with all these tough riddles in the game. <laughs> oh, come on. Fine. Let's use the stealth mode then. Ah, come on. Follow me. Finally, thank you. To show you. Yeah. 
Yawn. It really is a dreadful day for a fair. Not even the tents are managing to look cheerful. Thank the gods. The knaves challenge is won, and I can go someplace dry. I'd kiss all of you, but no one respects an affectionate wizard. Yeah, you try that and you can kiss my boat. Far from it. I'm quite cheerful by nature. That's why I moved to a swamp, you know. Sort of a challenge to myself. Well, um, good for you, again. Okay, <laughs> and we just got our first level up. Let's take care of the companions first. And yeah, this is pretty much a case where the recommend button will work just fine. Then it's Amy's turn. And I missed the lore skill. Um, I think I'll invest the two points into the craft armor skill. Because at this point we can't invest any more points to the heal skill because it is a cross class skill. Therefore it's restricted to, uh, to a maximum of half of the maximum class skill ranks at any given level. Yeah, we'll go with that. And we get two spells. We'll take color spray and grease. What's up? And then the dumb one. <laughs> Let's see what skills he has other and okay, parry. So yeah, obviously um, <coughs> the armor check penalty also um, affects the parry skill because his skill ranks were zero in it, the effective ranks earlier. And we get a feat for him. I think we'll take the knockdown feat. Yeah, that's uh, a pretty useful skill. As long as the enemy is... Um, aren't too uh, resistant for that. Yes. <laughs> and then it's time to level up Lord here. And we get our second invocation. And I think we'll go with the uh, Dark One's own luck. Since Charisma is our main ability score, we'll get a pretty decent bonus to all our saves. And uh, also it lasts for 24 hours, so it's, it's a pretty good invocation. And we also got Eldritch Law feat for free. Can't actually remember what that was precisely. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, it's a plus two bonus to lore and spellcraft checks. Yep. Okay then. Best I keep quiet, lest anyone think me social. Yeah, that would be dreadful, wouldn't it? 